What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my rookie rating predictions for NBA 2K20. So basically, these are not my opinions. These are just what I'm predicting ratings are going to be based on how 2K have historically rated rookies and also based on the hype of the players and how 2K do overalls. Hype is a big factor in overalls and also there are certain stats that make a bigger difference for certain players. For example, a two guard that can't shoot is gonna be punished much more in the center that can't shoot, for example. So there's a lot of things like that. Also, I don't think draft position is gonna to have too much of a factor in overall, although I think it will have a little bit of a factor. So yeah, again, if you guys disagree, leave in the comments. And again, this is predictions. This is not my opinion. And also, this is under the assumption that 2K are going with the exact same rating system as they had in 2K19. If they completely change it, then obviously you can throw all of these out the window. But anyway, now let's get on to it. First up is the number 10 pick Cam Reddish. So a lot of people expected him at the start of the year to be a top five pick without doubt. And then when he was picked at number 10, a lot of people thought in the end that he could have slid a little bit more. The thing is, no one's questions any of Cam Reddish's actual basketball ability. It's just a lot of kind of the intangible qualities, which to be completely honest, makes absolutely no difference in 2K because it's a video game. For that reason, I can see Cam Reddish being one of the better rookies in the game and I don't think they're gonna give him a they're gonna make him a 76 overall gold. I think they're going to make him a 75 overall silver, but I also think he will be rated higher than a couple of people that are drafted ahead of him. 75 overall silver is my prediction for Cam Reddish, and I think he's without doubt gonna have one or two great games in the NBA, at least for the Hawks on a young team. And it could turn out that in 2K, Cam Reddish is the best of all these rookies. Next we have got my actual sleeper pick for rookie of the year. It is Rui Hachimura from Gonzaga. He's playing for the Washington Wizards who I don't think are going to be a great team next year and he's just an overall just very very solid player. He's a couple of years older than the rest of them and I think he's going to be quite good. Do I think he's going to be rated particularly highly in 2k? I'm actually I'm gonna say yeah. Like I don't know why I think he's going to be just with his whole skill set the fact he can do a little bit of everything and a small forward position that makes a big difference for overalls because I'm looking at this more so than anything as what stats make a difference for overalls because there are a lot of things that are factors that a lot of people don't think about people just look at overalls but um yeah I think he's going to be a 76 and I think he's going to be a guy who can just kind of do a little bit of everything at the NBA level and I think for that reason, especially at the small forward position, being an all-around great player helps a lot with overall. And I think for that reason, he's going to be a 76 rated gold. Next, we are on to Jackson Hayes, who's also playing for the New Orleans Pelicans with Zion Williamson. I don't know exactly how well he fits with Zion. Like I understand why they're going, why they drafted him. They're going for like an ultra fast, ultra young team. But to be completely honest, how many ultra fast teams have done particularly well in the NBA? not many like realistically they should have just surrounded zion with a bunch of shooters but hey that's just my opinion jackson hayes is a really really good athlete is going to be a solid um enough player in game he's going to get boards but 6 11 so he's not particularly tall for center that will lower his overall a little bit and also the fact is that he's not the best rebounder i think he was a fairly poor rebounder in college and for that reason i think he's actually going to be uh I'm gonna guess a 74 overall silver for Jackson Hayes. Now we are on to Kobe White, and hopefully they get his hair a little bit better than the custom roster next year, but I think that Kobe White is going to be a really great player in NBA 2K20. He's an elite scorer. He's gonna shoot the ball really, really well. He shoots the ball already well from NBA range, and for the Chicago Bulls, he was a great, great pick in my opinion. Do I think he's going to be the highest rated player in 2K19 or 2K20? Not really. I'm going to predict a 75 overall gold for Kobe White. And to be honest, say 75 overall silver. And yeah, to be honest, he's going to be a solid NBA player. I think he's going to have a really good rookie season. However, I just think there's a couple of things that don't really fit too well in terms of 2K. He's got a short enough wingspan, but I don't know. You never know what 2K are going to do with that. But yeah. I'm guessing a 75 overall silver, so around the same rating as Cam Reddish. At number six, we have got Jarrett Culver, who's a great offensive player. However, he can't really shoot the ball. And if you guys know much about 2K, you know the three-point rating, unless you're a center, is a big, big factor in overall. For that reason, I think he is going to be a 75 overall silver. So I think he's going to be the same rating as Cam Reddish. He's going to be the same rating as Kobe White. He's going to be a really 
solid NBA player in my opinion. But again, like it's hard to predict with these rookies. Like the top 10 picks, you assume they're all going to be solid going in. It's hard to tell until they actually get into the NBA. But yeah, that's my prediction for him. I honestly, I didn't watch that much of him. So to be honest, I'm not the biggest expert on him. I'm not going to talk too much about his game. However, just seeing the way he plays in little bits, seeing his stats, I think I can make a fairly good prediction, and I'm guessing 75 overall silver. Next up, we've got Darius Garland, who was the fifth pick by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kind of weird that they drafted two point guards two consecutive years, but hey, they want to replicate Dame and CJ, but... For every Damon CJ, there's a Goran Dragic, Eric Bledsoe, and Isaiah Thomas failure. But um, yeah, so he was projected to go number four, and people actually thought the New York Knicks were going to take him over RJ Barrett because of, well, just how incompetent the Knicks have been in the last couple of years. But um, I'm predicting he's going to be a 76 overall gold, a really good shooter, the best shooter arguably in the draft, especially at the point guard position. He didn't play that much in college, but apparently he was killing it at workouts and teams were considering taking him much higher. Good pick for Cleveland Cavaliers. However, I don't know how he fits with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Either way, 76 overall gold. No way if they keep the same ratings as last year, is he a silver or a lower in 2K20. With number four pick, the Atlanta Hawks took DeAndre Hunter. And I think that he is going to be a great, great player in NBA 2K20. Mainly 3 and D. 3 and D. That's all really that you need in this game. 3 and D players are the, arguably the most effective glue guys in the game, especially at the start of it. He shot really well from 3 in college, and he's also seen as the best defender in the draft. I think he's going to be a 77 overall gold. Not a guy who I think is going to be rookie of the year. Not a guy who I see getting many moments cards. However, he's a guy who initially, in terms of all the rookies, I think is going to be one of the most effective in game and is going to be one of the best without doubt. 77 overall gold is my prediction. And yeah, I'm fairly confident that he's at least going to be a gold. 77 might be a little bit high. He could be a 76, but I'm going to stick with a, predict with a prediction of 77. And before we get on to the top three, I'm going to talk about the guy who I think may end up being the best of all the rookies, and it's Bowl Bowl. So... Bowl Bowl could be a bit like a Thon Maker from NBA 2K17, where it's just his animations and the fact he's huge could make a big difference. Bowl Bowl is going to be 7'3", he's going to have a high block rating, and if they judge it based on his college stats, where he was brilliant when he played, he's honestly going to be a 72 or 73 overall silver, even for a second round pick, which could be nuts. He's going to be a 7'3 guy who can hit the jump shot a little bit, not too much, but can hit him when he's wide open he's going to be able to block shots and he's going to be seven foot three or set i'm not even sure what they're going to uh, list him as because i think he's officially listed as seven two people are saying he's seven foot three hopefully it's seven three so we have an an ultra ultra cheese bowl bowl and as well as bowl bowl if taco fall ends up getting an nba contract he would without doubt be the most op rookie from the get-go anyway with the third pick the new york knicks selected or j barish and to be honest these top three have been probably the most hyped rookies we have seen in a long long time since anthony davis probably maybe even more hyped or j barrett is so more merch than lonzo ball and la is not that much smaller market than new york to be completely honest but uh yeah i'm projecting a 79 overall gold for or j barrett sure we didn't get any 79 overall goals last year luka Doncic was the second highest overall after deandre ayton and I said it then, and I'll say it again now, what were 2K and EA and everyone thinking when they thought that DeAndre Ayton was going to be a better uh, rookie than Luka Doncic? But this isn't about Doncic. <laughs> um, yeah, RJ Barrett is going to be a really good NBA player. I think in the perfect situation in New York where he can be the leader of the team straight away, where he can take a high volume of shots, and he is my, without doubt, my prediction for rookie of the year this year, even over Zion and uh, Ja Morant. Speaking of Ja Morant, I'm going to say he's going to be the same overall as um, RJ Barrett, a 79 overall gold, which again is higher than all of the rookies last year. Do I think he's going to be better than ever in the 20, sorry, 2018 draft? No, but he's going to be a really great NBA player. Ja Morant is an elite athlete, an unbelievable passer, can shoot the ball, can score in pretty much every way. And the fact that he was wasn't even the number one pick just shows how good Zion Williamson was. 
John Morant would have been the number one pick in an awful lot of drafts. Probably would have been number one last year. Again, um, because without doubt, Luka wasn't going number one. But um, yeah, he's going to be an unbelievable player. 79 overall goals straight away. And he's a guy who, again, because of the roster he's on, just like RJ Barrett, expect a lot of moments cards and a lot of moments cards early for this guy. Last up is Zion Williamson. And if they give him base 11 like they did in this custom roster, it is game over. It is game over. But uh, yeah, I'm projecting Zion Williamson is going to be an 81 overall Emerald. And I think he's going to be an 84 overall in normal rosters. We have never seen a rookie that high. We have never seen a rookie rated over 80 as far as I know. I'm pretty sure that Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball were like the two highest rookies we've seen in a long time. I think Zion smashes that. Do what? Like, I am not as high on Zion Williamson as everyone else is. I don't think he's going to be anything absolutely spectacular. I think he's going to be a great player, an unbelievable defender, unbelievable hustle guy. I don't see him being like a generational talent. However, there is no question about it. He's the most hyped rookie we've seen in a long time. 2K base ratings on hype. And also, there's no question he's going to be at least a solid NBA player. But anyway, yeah. I'm projecting an 81 overall Emerald for Zion Williamson. So anyway, that's the video. These are just my predictions on what I think the rookies are going to be rated. Again, this is not like my opinion on the rookies. This is not who I think is going to be the best. It's just my prediction based on how 2K have historically rated rookies. And just more so looking at the hype of all the players more than anything else, more than their actual skill set. And also the specific things they do well and how they kind of link with 2K's overalls. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.